It's time, it's time, it's time for Blinka. Yeah, it's uh, Python on Hardware time. We are still celebrating Circuit Python Day, 8 8 2019. It turns it out like a week to it was finish. a week of celebrations, it yeah. was a weekend of celebrations, and there's still stuff coming up. So, uh, like I had said before, we were doing the free ruler stuff and we ran out almost instantly, so that was good. People like these rulers. Yeah, but right now, and probably for a while, we're going to have these stickers. So, yes. at the same level, instead of it being a ruler, there's the stickers. Um, there was cake. Cake is not a lie. Ooh, um, wow. It's a Circuit Playground Express yeah. Linka cake. That's a nice cake looking. Yeah, this is from the India Linux User Group, Delhi and Hardware Hackers Club. They celebrated Circuit Python Day. They had a show and tell. Look at them walking out. Group photo. Yay! And more. Building hardware together. Over at IoT Makers Israel, they had a hands-on Circuit Python workshop on AE Day, for Circuit Python Day. And not only that, they also posted up their journey on doing a hardware badge that happened to run. Yes, Circuit that's Python right. We posted about that well. a while ago. They yeah. did a well. Now it can run Circuit Python because we have uh, Ink display support. That's right. On Ask an Engineer last week, you and Scott talked about Circuit Python community and more. Then on Thursday. Katni talked about changing lives through open source passion and mentoring. This is a must watch. Watch Katni's. This is a recap from her Pi Ohio talk, but it is a must watch. So when people ask, like, how could I do the type of things that someone like Katni does? Uh, watch her journey, uh, listen to her words, and um, watch this recap where we all talk about it as well. Then we did a history of Circuit Python, and this was a talk that Scott did at the PyCon Language Learning Summit where there was core Python developers. And you and Scott talked about the history of CircuitPython and then also where we're going with CircuitPython. That's not all. This weekend, Lambda Labs is uh, the Beirut hackerspace. They're doing a CircuitPython Day event too. So they'll have activities all throughout the day. Um, it's August 17th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you happen to be in Beirut, this is the party for you. Okay. Uh, next up, there is a talk that uh, Scott's doing and is in Seattle. I think it's like today. No, I th it's is it? Uh, it is August 14th. Yeah. That's now. That's like now. You should go there right now. <laughs> At 8.30 p.m. Uh, so if you're watching this and you're in Seattle, you can go there uh, right after this. It's uh, CircuitPython and Game Boys for the Seattle Python user group. Puppy. I just like the logo. It's so cute. Okay. Then, uh, Brian, also known as Sedacious in Discord, will be doing a talk at Pi Bay. Pi Bay is held August 15th to 18th in San Francisco. There's workshops Thursday to Friday and talks Saturday to Sunday. Brian will be giving a talk on Saturday called Accelerating Driver Development with CircuitPython. Which is cool, because he's doing a lot of CircuitPython sensor driver yeah. development, constantly writing new libraries, so he's the expert. And if you don't have a Circuit Playground, um, I know for a fact he has 20 because we sent them out to him. So uh, bug him for if it. If you're nice to him. Yeah. I'm or if you're him. incredibly terrible, he might just give you on the go. <laughs> yeah. It's one way to do Is it a gift or a bribe? Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. Don't I guess do that. Do. Okay. Uh, next up, PyCubed is a complete hardware plus software stack for CubeSats that addresses many of the common pitfalls of small satellite building. PyCube prioritizes high reliability design practices, low cost and radiation tolerant components, ease of use, thorough documentation. It is CircuitPython powered. This is yet another... Circuit Python powered Look space at this thing. This massive radio. It's space thing. Cool. And then Sam D fifty one, yeah. all the accessories. This is a powerful board specifically for okay. CubeSat. This design. you're gonna have to like zoom in and like look at it in a newsletter, but um, this is Circuit Python as a .NET standard library. No native code, it can handle strings, great function, and called built-ins. So someone posted this on Twitter and like, this is super weird and this cool. This is super cool and weird, and I have no idea why they did it, which means it's going to be very neat because yeah. I, I don't understand. I haven't done what, this Yeah, I don't know what this means. Okay. I can't wait to find out. All right. Um, lots of different hardware that runs Circuit Python or Python on hardware or somewhere in that menagerie. Um, this is a Circuit Python powered automatic fam, uh, fume extractor. This is on Hackaday IO. Um, I thought it was something else at first. I'm just like, oh, this is like a Gotenna type, or like one yeah. of the Cantenna things. Yeah, it looks like it, but yeah, it's not. Okay. Okay. This is kind of neat. This is an Itsy Bitsy M4 breadboard adapter. Okay. I thought that was cool. It breaks out all the pins, and then it looks like you get also like a stem connector and a battery. Maybe it adds a light poly charger too. Yeah. Oh, nice. Handy. 
And then this is Circuit Python snakes its way to the Arduino MKR 1010. Uh, someone has their uh, Arduino MKR working with Moo, working as a Circuit Python device. Yes, I think we added a board definition. It's it's a SAMD21, I think, and uh, it's yeah. a little basic, but you can you can get some uh, simple projects going on it. Yep. Um, it's not super fast, but great starter board. Okay, next up. This is kind of cool. Seed Studio is going all all wings in <laughs> yeah. with Feather. Yeah, this is their first Feather. Taking well, they've flight. Done, they've done the particle um, but they didn't say boards. The, they didn't say Feather. Well, this one, they say Feather. But now they have a Feather. Well, they had yeah. the breakout boards for the, so. the Grove and for the particles. And the particles, of course, are Feather compatible. So now they're doing it. And this is, I think this is brilliant because this is a SAMD21. Uh, it has USB-C and it has this Wi-Fi module. And what's cool is, you know, I've seen this Wi-Fi module, I wouldn't have had time to make a feather for it. So I'm really glad that they went ahead and did it. So more people making feathers, you know, I hope to learn something from their techniques. They're really great at designing and making hardware. Um, yeah. I like already some of the tricks they're doing, going with USB-C, castellated pads, this is cool yeah. stuff. So this is uh, one of two headlines that I've been writing a lot lately. Feather takes flight with the YO Light W600 from Seed Studio. I guess it's Wyo. We, Wyo? Wheel, yeah. Wyo Light or Wheel Light? Wheel Light. Wheel Light or Wheel Light? Wi-Fi. Um, however, um, they say the Wheel Light is compatible with Feather board pins. We believe Feather is a very successful development platform in the community, and there are already many cool Feather boards out there from Adafruit. So thank you. Um, we put this spec out. Um, sometimes people say Feather and they don't say Adafruit, or they won't even say Feather or Adafruit. Um, that's their problem. Um, but what's cool is when you see this spec out there and you see it really working. Well, we're seeing, I think, a little bit more cohesion. It, you yeah. know, as people are coming out with really good um, platforms and standards, like, you know, we're using the Quick standard now, yeah. Seed is using the Feather standard. I think it's good for everybody. It's, it's good to have Speaking things cross-functional rather than, yeah. oh, I have to buy a new, that's what I was trying to do with Feather. It's like, I was tired of like, yeah. oh my God, it's a new shield for each design. So this is another Feather um, format board. This is the Orange Crab. And you can read about this on Hexer.io, as well as our newsletter. As well as yes, it's like an Twitter FPGA, like that's ultra right. powerful. I mean, this is like yeah. a six layer, eight layer board. Feather takes flight Look at the this Orange Crab. crammed board. It's amazing. Yeah. Next up, um, this, Happened to be on our show and tell today, and I uh, called some special attention to it on our blog and newsletter. This is a Featherwing e ink reader. So you get fully open source e ink reader using these 4.2 yeah. e ink displays. Looks cool. All right. Next up, uh, this is from Sophie Wong. I think Sophie's in the chat too. Okay. This is Ooh. a Circuit Python powered wing. Um, Circuit Python gives you wings. It's um, got a little bit of that mercy thing going yeah, on there. Yeah, and nice. um, I think this is for an upcoming Hackspace article. Uh, next up, there's sound on this one, so I'm just going to play it. It is a um, screaming necklace, so the louder it is, the more it lights up. So take it away. One, two, three. Loudness necklace. Yeah. 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 Love yelling. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. And that is our Python on hardware news for the week. Linka is a wanted snake. <laughs> What's up with this poster? Look. It's cool. That's what I'm doing. Okay.